Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is a quick look video at a graphite magazine and this is issue number number nine beautiful orangey brown colour and what I'm going to do is this intro that I'm recording now I'm actually recording it after I've done the video because what happened is on the video I didn't change the setting on the camera and the sun was shining and it's kind of messed up the colours so I'm re-recording this intro just to say I can't re redo the video but I just want to say that the colours are a bit weird so what I'll do is at the end of the video when I've finished it I'll come back and I'll quickly flick through each page showing more sort of true colours so you can sort of see what the colours look like bit more there it's more vivid in the video it's a bit washed out but before we get into the video I just wanted to say something on the side of these magazines I noticed something which what they did was those little darts that are colour coded with the magazine's cover if you count them one two three four five six seven eight nine issue nine they made the dots match the issue number which I think is amazing it's little things like that that I love about 3D Total Publishing they just look how beautiful that looks together it makes me wonder though because issue 10 is the last one they, that's the last issue what would they have done when they got to issue like 50 or something because they would have run out of space <laughs> But we'll never know now, which is a bit a bit sad, but let's get into the video. It's a quick look of issue number nine, and I'll be back at the end with more vivid colours. I love that cover. I think that's my favourite one so far, though. I love, I think that is the perfect cover for the last issue, because it's kind of like a feeling of love this one's got a feeling of vulnerableness I like that let's take a look inside I've never I've not even opened this up yet but this magazine covers concept drawing illustration and urban sketching and it is by 3D Total Publishing dun 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 3D Total Publishing so, if we look on the inside, some little houses. I love that those covers open up as well. It's sexy. The colour of this one is gold. Very posh. Hello. <laughs> it's about to pounce on us. Thank you for picking up issue 9 of Graphite Magazine. So inside we have the dream. I like the sound of that. Discover the ethel artwork of Joanne Nam. That's what's inside. This covers traditional medium, I think. I love that. What do we have? Fishies. <laughs> Every single magazine I've looked in, it's had fishies in it. Definitely dreaming. I love the... Uh, texture of that paint down there. What a beautiful face. I like her hand. I like the pose. The dream. I like the name of it as well. Beautiful. Bunny rabbits. Normally it tells you what they're made of. I'd like to know what they what they used. There's those two from the covers. Oh, it's got a little bag. That bag really actually adds to that drawing. And there's any little thing. I love that one. 
as a sort of painting I would find online and, and actually study. I think I'm going to have to. This artist is called Joan Joan Nam. I'm sure she's got a web got a website. Um, talk about it. And please, if there's a secret, it's to enjoy the process, the progress you make, and to embrace the process of getting there. I'm gonna have to find that artist. Slavic folklore. Pencils. We have pencils. I don't know what I think about that one. I think it sort of... sort of scares me a little bit. Especially the... the way she's like... coming from a cloud almost. Oh, I love that they've shown you how they make it. Hmm, she looks really cute there. She looks cute there, and then I don't know. She doesn't. That's what's confusing me. She looks friendly, I think, but the. That one's really confusing me. Mary Alice Harrell. I love how this book, the other one did that as well. It really walks through the process of drawing it. Get your sausage out. There's a little, I'm putting together little art tips and one of them is to get your sausage out which is something Jake Parker said. Get a kneaded eraser and turn it into a sausage. She's got no head. Got a diamond. A diamond shaped head. Oh look, he's got a nice face. Nice eyes. Really, like interesting that conversation with myself. I love that. A bit lonely. Nice colours. Yeah, there's like a a sense of loneliness. Oh, these are fascinating as well. I like the shape of that. This is weird. Look, that person's got no head. It's fascinating, different people's drawings. That looks just like Bert Dodgen. Bert Dodgen sketches like that. Very squiggly. Almost like they don't take the pencil the pen off the paper. Oh I love that. That into that. That is amazing. And look, they use a little cheap set of watercolours. I'd like to study that. So I'll try and pull it apart. <laughs> I was doing some watercolouring today, out by the water, with my old art class. And it was really nice just hearing the sounds as you were painting. The thing is, it gave me a bit of confidence because I never thought I could paint outside with people, but I did it and I feel like now I could do it on my own. 
because I, I did it with the with the rest of the art class, which gave me a little bit of confidence, I think, because I wasn't on my own. But I feel like I could do it on my own now, which that would be, if I can do that, that would be powerful, because I could start going out painting, like this, the ski, <laughs> the sea and stuff. Should just be amazing, especially with this nice weather. This, these magazines, they cover like so much tools and stuff. Artists tip, take a break. So you get little tips as well. Tippy tips. Make sure you take breaks. Sometimes you get carried away though. You get so into it you forget. You don't even realise how long you've been sketching for. The size of this thing, look. It's massive. That must take ages. He's ironing it. Ironing a drawing is a great way to flatten it. I love that. Looks a bit like Terence McKenna. Psychedelic man. I really like that. Nice shape. That's different. Coloured pencils. It's incredible. I like that. Pencil and ink. I like that as well. They tell you what each piece is made of pencil, ink and watercolour. This magazine is very trippy, which I like. Oh, I love this as well. They show you, they don't do this in the character design quarterly one. They show you the artwork and the little person in the gallery, because this is the gallery bit. In She's nice. She's nice as well. Tells you their websites and stuff. In 3D Total Pub, in the character design quarterly one, they should do that on that. Put little face with the... That's cool. I like the little bit of red. That's the Atari logo, I think. That is the Atari logo, I think. I love when they sketch in coloured pencils. This reminds me of Jake Parker. Sort of like Jake Parker's style. It's the sort of thing you would draw as well. A little bit of digital. Artist's tip, scanning. I scan my drawing so that I have a digital backup in case I mess up during the inking stage. Very intelligent. Gives him a little bit of confidence. I love that. Very detailed. Art and architecture. Nice colours. That's the one from the cover, I bet. Nice colours. Yeah, nice colours again. Blue and gold. It's going to be fascinating to read this. Really like the colours in these. She's nice. Tools. 
Oh, she's nice, look. That middle one. Look at the eyes on that. Very intense. That's something I would sketch. Be fun to sketch that. All the little lines. Oh, it looks nice with hair. Artist's tip. Line weights. Use a variety of line weights in your piece. That's really nice, that. Artist's tip. Draw freckles. Use a slightly dull pencil with light pressure. Freckles. Light freckles. I like that as well. Nice shapes. Mushrooms. Woodland dragons. Aww. Funny. I love characters. I just hope one day little characters like that. Oh, I like that one. I actually collect my pencil shavings. A bit random, look. Is it this one? I've got a little tub of pencil shavings. And the thing is, one time, I'm not going to do it now, one time I emptied that on the desk and it looks beautiful. It smells nice as well. It smells of it smells of art. Tasty. They make a hell of a mess though. But it's so I love seeing all these different coloured pencils together. I don't know why I'm saving them, but I just felt like I wanted to. Hey. I've got these. They're really nice brush pens. These ones look. They've got, they've got a super. It's a stiff brush, but it's just got. It makes a nice lines. It's got one of those. I don't use that end though. These are really cool little brush pens though. Tombow. ABT. This is something else I'm going to like about these magazines is Artist's Tip, Fountain Pen, Prismacolor Pencils. Yummy! This magazine is full of tips. Oh, I hate it when these finish. I wish you could have a magazine that never ended. Imagine that if you just kept turning pages. Hmm, <laughs> be funny. And at the back we have cool it. Some sort of thing. Hmm. That is mental. Look at that. Who done that? Featured in issue eight. Well that means that's what we've got coming next. Dun dun dun. Can't wait to see that because I'm going to be looking at issue eight next. I love that. I always love this. Patience, time and hard work are my recommendation. If there's a secret, it's to enjoy the process. Yes. Oh, that was a tasty one. I hope you enjoyed it. A little mark on there. We don't like marks. <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. It was issue nine of the Graphite magazine. I think... Side by side with 10, I'm going to say... Dun, 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 dun. That's my favourite one so far. Just because of this artist. This artist is tasty. Chris Hong. That artist makes that magazine. This one's really nice though. Fascinating. The word to sum up that, I think, is fascinating. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. 
and what I'm going to do now is flick through the magazine showing more sort of how vivid the colours actually are, more true colours and like that one especially got washed out on the video but I'm only going to flick through very quickly really do love these magazines though I've been trying to get issues 6 and 5 but I can't seem to find them anywhere I think issue 6 is on eBay that one got washed out as well, the yellow it pops a lot more I think because these magazines are all about the art it really upsets me that the video that I messed up the video and the thing is I recorded three quick look videos at the same time so all of them they all got messed up a bit <laughs> I'm sorry but hopefully this is good enough it's just a little bit of colour I think it's important to show the art as close to the colours as I can I love these magazines though such sort of strange and different artwork yeah I was trying to get issue 6 I think there's one on Amazon but it's about 300 quid or something <laughs> that's mental there's also issue 1's on there for a thousand pounds so if it stays like that I don't think I'll be collecting them all which is a bit sad, I would love to collect them all the thought of having them all on my shelf lined up is it just makes I want to, I want to try and do that that one got washed out as well I'm so upset that the colours got messed up but what I'll do from the, in the future is I will always check the settings before I start and I like that, I like that one strange that's basically that that's nice as well I love that one I do wish they put the bag on the front cover They should. I think they should have made it a bit smaller I'm sure they tried it it didn't work or something that was issue number 9 be back in a minute with issue 8 and I hope you enjoyed that